Have you ever posted a photo at your favorite coffee shop, sharing a snapshot of your morning routine with friends or followers? Or maybe you've checked into a new restaurant online, letting everyone know where you're dining tonight. Each of these actions, no matter how small, leaves behind a digital breadcrumb, a tiny piece of information about your life, your habits, and your preferences. For most of us, these are just fleeting, forgotten moments, lost in the endless scroll of our social feeds. But for hackers, stalkers, or anyone with malicious intent, these breadcrumbs are valuable puzzle pieces. With enough patience and the right set of tools, someone can methodically assemble these fragments into a surprisingly clear and detailed picture of your life, where you live, what you do for work, who your friends and family are, and even your daily routines. This isn't just a plot from a science fiction movie. It's the reality of our hyper-connected, always online world where every interaction leaves a trace. In this environment, truly disappearing online has become a rare luxury, almost impossible for the average person. Malicious actors don't even need to hack into secure networks or break through firewalls. Often all they need is a web browser and access to public data sources. They use a method called Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, which allows them to gather, analyze, and exploit information that's freely available online, turning your public posts, comments, and profiles into tools against you. OSINT investigations can start with just a single detail, a username, an email address, or even a photo you posted years ago, and from there, unravel your entire digital life, connecting dots you never realized were visible. Your family members, your home address, your job, your daily routines, your interests, Nothing is truly off-limits if you're not careful about what you share and how you share it. The process is systematic, not random guesswork. It's a methodical investigation, using step-by-step -step techniques to uncover more and more about you. And the speed at which a complete profile can be built is truly shocking. Sometimes just minutes are enough to reveal a lifetime of information. In this video, we'll pull back the curtain and reveal exactly how OSINT works showing you the tools and tactics used by both professionals and criminals. More importantly, we'll show you practical steps you can take to protect yourself, your loved ones, and your personal information from being exploited. By the end of this journey, you'll see your online presence in a completely new light, understanding the risks, but also the power you have to control your digital footprint. And you'll know exactly what to do to reclaim your privacy, take back control and navigate the digital world with confidence and security. Before we dive in, a quick disclaimer, this information is for your protection, not for misuse. The goal is to educate and empower you to safeguard your data, not to enable hacking or harassment. OSINT techniques are powerful and can be misused for stalking, doxing or identity theft. Using these methods without consent is unethical and often illegal. Think of this as learning how burglars operate, not to become one, but to secure your home. Staying informed is your best defense. As you watch, reflect on your own digital footprint. This isn't about paranoia, but about smart, proactive awareness. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to protecting your privacy. So, what exactly is OSINT? You might have heard the term tossed around in cybersecurity circles, but it stands for Open Source Intelligence. It's a powerful concept that's reshaping how information is gathered and used in the digital age. Open source intelligence actually began in the secretive world of spies and intelligence agencies, where gathering information was a matter of national security. But today, OSINT isn't just for government agents, it's everywhere, accessible to anyone with an internet connection. At its core, OSINT is about collecting and analyzing data from public sources, no hacking or breaking into systems required. It's all about what's already out there, waiting to be found. The real power of OSINT lies in aggregation, a username from one site, a photo from another, a public record from a government database. When you piece these together, you start to see a much bigger picture. Hackers and investigators connect these seemingly random dots to reveal a surprisingly detailed portrait of your life, your habits, your connections, even your daily routines. What makes OSINT so appealing is that it's low cost, low risk, and incredibly effective. All you need is a computer, some basic tools, and a bit of curiosity. Why does this matter? Because the intelligence gathered through OSINT often fuels cyber attacks like phishing, social engineering, and even real-world threats. 
Attackers use what they learn to craft convincing scams or target you more precisely. Even small details, like your pet's name, your favorite coffee shop, or your vacation plans, can be weaponized against you, often in ways you'd never expect. In today's hyper-connected world, we share more than ever before, often without realizing just how much personal information we're putting out there for anyone to find. Hackers know that the internet is like a vast, searchable library of personal information, and they've become expert librarians, skilled at finding exactly what they need. Understanding how OSINT works is the crucial first step to keeping your story off those public shelves and protecting your privacy in a digital world. So let's dive in and see how these powerful OSINT tools actually work in practice. OSINT hackers rely on a surprisingly accessible toolkit, one that's available to anyone with an internet connection and a bit of curiosity. These tools aren't hidden in the dark web, they're right at your fingertips, waiting to be used. Search engines are their first weapon of choice. With advanced Google searches known as Google Dorks, hackers can uncover files, login pages, and sensitive information that most people don't realize is even online. These search tricks can reveal forgotten corners of the internet, exposing data that was never meant to be public. Social media is a goldmine for information gathering. Every post, like, and comment can be a clue. Public posts, photos, and visible connections can reveal your daily habits, favorite places, and even your social circles. Hackers analyze geotags and timestamps to build a detailed profile of your life. Specialized tools can automatically scrape profiles for usernames, emails, and friends lists, making the process fast and efficient. What would take hours by hand can be done in minutes with the right software. LinkedIn is another treasure trove, exposing your work history, job titles, and professional connections. This information is invaluable for crafting targeted phishing attacks or impersonating colleagues. Platforms like Maltego take things further, visualizing the web of connections between emails, domains, and social accounts. These tools help hackers see the bigger picture and spot hidden relationships. Reverse image searches can track where your photos appear across the internet, linking anonymous profiles and revealing more about your online presence than you might expect. Public records, like property deeds, court documents, and business filings, are often just a click away. These databases can provide addresses, legal history, and business ties, all without breaking any laws. Data breaches add another layer of risk, exposing emails, passwords, and other sensitive details for hackers to exploit. Even old breaches can be a goldmine for attackers. All of this is accomplished with tools and resources you could use yourself, if you know where to look and what to search for. The line between hacker and researcher is often just a matter of intent and awareness. Let's walk through a fictional OSINT investigation. The hacker starts with a username. Jane Doe underscore 88, found on a tech forum. Using tools like Namecheck, they find Jane Doe underscore 88 on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. A tweet reveals her job at Acme Corp in Springfield. Her Instagram profile picture shows a local landmark, confirming her city. On Pinterest, she posts about gardening in Springfield and marathon running, including her full name and age group. Public property records link Jane Doe to a home address and a spouse. In hours, the hacker has her name, job, city, address, hobbies, and family. This is enough for phishing, impersonation, or worse. Innocent details, when combined, create a dangerous profile. Every digital interaction leaves a trace. What you share, posts, comments, photos, are obvious breadcrumbs, but there's also metadata. Photos may contain GPS coordinates, dates, and device info. Hackers can extract this data to pinpoint your location. Your website's HOE's data might reveal your name and address if you skip privacy protection. Even the tech behind your site can expose vulnerabilities. Public records, court cases, property deeds, business licenses are digitized and searchable. These confirm and expand on what's found elsewhere. The problem isn't that this info exists, but that it's now so easy to access and combine. Scattered facts become a centralized dossier. Your digital creations and public records can betray your identity and location. Awareness is your first defense. Now let's talk solutions. Start with a personal OSINT audit. Google your name and usernames to see what's out there. Lock down your social media. Set profiles to private. Limit friend requests. And review old posts. 
Use unique usernames and emails for different platforms to compartmentalize your identity. Delete or archive posts that reveal too much about your routine or location. Disable geotagging on your phone's camera. Be strategic. Treat your personal info like a valuable asset. Before posting, check backgrounds for street signs or reflections. Don't announce travel plans until you're home. Compartmentalize. Use different emails for banking, social, and disposable signups. Privacy isn't paranoia, it's smart. These steps build a strong digital fortress. Take control before someone else does. Want even more privacy? Go beyond the basics. Data brokers collect and sell your info. Opt out where you can, or use paid services to automate removals. Strip metadata from photos and documents before uploading. Free tools can remove GPS and author info with a click. For public records, consider using trusts or LLCs to keep your name off property deeds. Always use Horwitz privacy for domain registrations. Your privacy can be compromised by friends and family. Ask them not to tag or post about you without permission. Have open conversations about online privacy with your circle. Digital security is a team effort. The fewer breadcrumbs you leave, the safer you are. The digital world offers connection, but at a cost to privacy. OSINT isn't just for spies. Anyone can use it to weaponize your data. Hackers connect your public info to launch attacks or cause real-world harm, but knowledge leads to action, not fear. Good digital hygiene, private profiles, unique usernames, scrubbing metadata makes you a harder target. Privacy is an ongoing process, not a one-time fix. Stay informed, review your settings, and talk about privacy with those around you. Your vigilance is your best defense. Take these steps seriously and share them. By protecting your digital identity, you help create a safer online world for everyone. In the digital age, prevention is your strongest shield.